Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to reupholster your seats so you can go from these torn up and dirty seats to these beautiful black and gray leather seats. These 37 year old seat covers have seen better days. So today I'm going to be installing these Fiero specific seat covers from Mr. Mike. To start this process we're going to flip the seat over in order to remove the four bolts holding the rails. But before we do that make sure you disconnect this spring. Because if you don't and accidentally nudge the lever that slides the seat back and forth you're going to regret it. Here listen to the force this makes if you accidentally nudge it. Yeah, you don't want that hitting you, so remove the spring. Now, let's remove the two bolts in the back. Now you can safely slide the rails to get access to the two bolts in front and remove those two as well. Next, using a T50 Torx bit, remove the bolt on the side of the seat Now, let's turn the seat to the other side and let's remove this plastic cover Undo the two screws holding it in place In my case, it's only one because this other one was broken off With the plastic cover removed we can now access these two 13mm bolts and remove them as well. I like to thread them back in as they will be helping us later on. And now we can separate the backrest from the bottom piece of the seat. With that now done, let's start on the bottom piece first and flip it over to expose the hog rings we need to remove. Using a pair of dykes, you can now remove all the hog rings holding the cover to the seat. Once that's done, go ahead and peel back the cover from the rear. Now remove these four hog rings as well. With that finished, peel back the front part of the seat cover. Now remove the hog rings holding the listing rods in place. With them removed, wiggle out the listing rods using a pair of pliers.
you can now remove the old seat covers. Now on to the backrest of the seat. There is a zipper on the bottom of the backrest. Go ahead and undo that zipper. Now remove the two hog rings from each corner. With them removed, flip the seat over and remove the hog rings from the two listing rods. Now go ahead and remove the listing rods. There is one and there is the other. You can now pull off the old cover to expose the last bit of hog rings that need to be removed. With them removed, the old seat covers are now free to come off. But don't throw them away just yet. You're going to need to cut out two pieces of foam from them. So take your razor blade and cut along the seam of the old cover. Go ahead and remove the first foam piece. And now the same for the other piece. Cut along the seam. And remove it as well. With that completed, we can now start prepping the seats for the new covers. Starting with the bottom piece first, take the razor blade Mr. Mike provides you and cut out a V-shaped groove so you can access the listing wires underneath that will be used to attach the new seat covers. However, this isn't completely necessary as you can still feel the listing wires with your fingers when attaching the new hog rings. With that done, you can now take the three pieces of foam as well as the spray adhesive and glue them to the seat. First spray the seat, then the foam piece. Now place it firmly on the seat. Then take the number two foam piece and repeat the process. And finally, the number 3 piece can go on. The seat is now ready for its new cover, but before we install it, go ahead and clean your work area. You don't want to stain the new seat covers. Go ahead and place your new covers on the seat making sure they are going on the correct way. 
Then take your new hog rings and hog ring pliers that were provided to you and let's begin attaching the seat cover. Load up your hog ring pliers and let's attach the first three hog rings. Two on each end and one in the middle is good enough. Just be careful and make sure you go only around the wire of the new seat covers. You don't want to put a hole in them. With the rear listing wire attached, now let's do the middle wire and hog ring it as well. Remember, two on each end and one in the middle is good enough. Now take your two listing rods and mask off the ends with some tape. This is done just as an extra bit of insurance so you don't end up poking a hole through your new seat covers. Now go ahead and insert the listing rods into the sleeves of the new covers. Gently wiggle them in place, making sure that they go in the tiny groove in the back of the seat to stay in place. And now you can hog ring the listing rods. One around the loop and the other around the rod is fine. Now find the seam of your new cover, place it towards the edge of the seat and carefully roll it over. And now do the same for the other side. Then grab the rear of the seat cover and carefully roll that over as well. With that done, take a Phillips head screwdriver or something pointy and clear out the holes where the previous hog rings were. This is done so you can see them a lot better when you go to attach the new seat covers. You can also use a sharpie to mark them. It's now time to hog ring the new cover. Go ahead and take your pliers and carefully hog ring the sleeves to the pre-existing metal holes. There should be a total of 12 hog rings needed for this part.
And with this last hog ring attached, the bottom half of our seats is all done. And man, that already looks so much better. Now, let's continue with the backrest part of the seat. First, let's take the old pieces of foam we cut out earlier and let's glue them in place. Spray down the seat. And then the foam piece. And attach it in place. Now for the second piece, go ahead and spray it. And then the seat. And attach that as well. Now our backrest is ready for our new seat cover. If you're doing this in your house like I am, then take your old seat covers and place them on the floor so you don't scratch your floors. Next, take your new seat cover by the headrest, making sure it's facing the correct side of the seat, and carefully slide the headrest on. Once that's done, place the seat back on your working area and hog ring the top listing wire of the new covers to the seat. Two on each end and one in the middle is good enough. Then, go ahead and hog ring the lower listing wire to the seat as well. Now take a piece of cotton which is also provided to you, fold it over your fingers, and stick it up in the shoulder area of the seat on each side of the headrest. With that completed, you can now pull down the new cover the rest of the way. And now it's time to install the listing rods. Remember to mask off each end and now let's carefully insert them into their sleeves. Remember to make sure that they each go in their grooves. And once they're in, go ahead and hog ring them to the listing wires of the seat. At this point, you only have a couple more hog rings left to install. Now grab each end of the cover and hog ring them together. You can do three here if you wanted to, but I feel like five is the right amount of hog rings.
And with that last hog ring, the backrest is officially done too. Now, all that's left to do is to reattach the top and lower half of the seats together. And here's where it may get a little stressful. You're going to need to cut holes in the new covers for the bolts. I suggest you take a break, refresh, and come back before doing this last part. You don't want to be this close to finishing and then mess up. So just as I did, go take a break. Now that we're back, remember when I told you to leave those two bolts in? Well now we're going to take our razor blade and very carefully cut a hole on the surface of those bolts. You want to be very gentle here. Just cut around enough to get the material to slip over the head of the bolt. And once you've done that, carefully remove the bolt from the seat. And don't use a drill like I am, because as you can see, it will twist the material if you're not careful. But now that we have those two bolts out, we can attach the backrest to the bottom half of the seat, hand thread the bolts in first so you don't cross thread them, and then zip them in the rest of the way. Only one more bolt left, and we're gonna need to cut a hole for it as well. So using your finger, Find the hole for the bolt and pierce it with the edge of the razor blade. I like to make an X with the razor blade, then go around in a circle. And now you can add the washer, pull down the backrest, line up the hole, and hand thread in the bolt. Then using a T50 Torx bit, zip it down the rest of the way. Now the seat is officially back together. There's only two more things left to do. First, let's screw this plastic cover back on. There's one screw, and there's the other. The second and very last thing to do is to reattach the rails to the seat. But because mine are so dirty and rusty, I'm not going to be installing them just yet. The seats won't be going back into the Fiero until I finish cleaning and restoring the interior which will be in the next part of my Fiero restoration series, which you should go and check out if you haven't already. And even if you have, part 4 just released, so go ahead and watch that. Now back to the seat rails. I'm going to be sandblasting and painting these, and that will be in the next part of the Fiero series as well. But in the meantime, let's check out these brand new seats. Man, do these look awesome or what? They are worth every penny in my opinion. I highly, highly recommend them. Mr. Mike clearly does an incredible job. And I can't wait to get these back in the Fiero, so stay tuned for that episode. And if you enjoyed this video, then please leave it a like. And tell me what you think about these seats in the comments below. And if you're new to my channel, then please consider subscribing for more videos like this. So until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later.